Howdy all, Fuzzy Biker here at Baxter Cycle in the mighty metropolis of Marnie, Iowa. We are in the Royal Infield building today. This is the bike I want to show you. I was planning on riding this today, and uh, well, they sold it yesterday, so we can't ride it, but we're going to ride the one next to it. But check this little hot rod out. This is just a beautiful little thing. It's got some nifty add-ons. So it's a Royal Infield Hunter 350. It's got a 349cc air-cooled, oil-cooled engine, single overhead cam, two-valve engine, fuel injected, of course, five-speed transmission, just a wonderful thing to ride. Has about 20 horsepower, about 20 foot-pounds of torque. I think that's 27 newton meters. Maybe I should have pulled it out a little bit, huh? Absolutely gorgeous bike. Good, good details on this. This one's got some add-ons. We'll talk about that in a minute. It's got 41 millimeter forks in the front with about uh, 5.1 inches of travel, about 130 millimeters. And uh, they've got these boots on there, which is kind of neat, protects the, protects the uh, tubes. 300 millimeter disc brake on the front with dual piston by calipers. It's a 17 inch wheel. I think that is a 110, 70, 17. It's also 17 on the rear. Isn't that really pretty? Tubeless tire. I like the rim. Let's get a good look at from from this side. Check that out. Absolutely gorgeous. A lot of neat things about this. We'll get into the details here in a minute. On the rear, it's got the uh, 140, 70, 17 tire. Again, tubeless. It's got a 270 millimeter disc on the back. Quite a big disc. Single piston vibrator caliper. Dual shocks on the rear. I think it's uh, three and a half inches of travel. That's about 90 millimeters. Very good looking motorcycle, isn't it? Oh, ABS brakes, by the way, front, front and back, dual, dual channel. Seat height is 31.1 inches. That's about 790 millimeters. Fuel tank is 3.4 gallons, and that's fine because it gets, gets like amazing miles per gallon, 60, 70, 80 miles a gallon, something like that. And uh, that's about uh, 12.9 liters, by the way. Wet weight, that's with a full tank of fuel, 399 pounds. That is about 181 kilograms. All right, let's put that list away. Just check this little hot rod out. So those are the stock numbers. Uh, something I want to point out right away is the frame. Just like an old Interceptor from days gone by. I call these the Hunter Scepter, by the way. That, that's a very sporty motorcycle, and they're a lot of fun to ride. But uh, check out the frame. So the frame ends right here. Starts right here, goes up the backbone of the bike, and then back down, and it ends right here. There's no frame under the engine. See? So the lowest point, the center of gravity in these is way down low. This is an, about an inch lower than a... Uh, the uh, ground clearance is about an inch less than a uh, Meteor, a 350 Meteor like that one over yonder, or a uh, classic like I own. So the center of gravity is lower, it's got a shorter wheelbase, it's got uh, less weight, it's the lightest of the 350s, loads of fun to ride. Now this one's had some add-ons blasted into it. They've got this MK Design fairing on it, they've got these uh, nifty little mirrors on the end. I'm not sure if this is a stock pipe or not. You've got these knee pads on the side. Hey, that's, I thought they'd have a texture, that's very smooth. I like it, I like it. I believe this is the stock seat. They've got the same seat. Very nice looking seat. Look at that whole thing. Isn't that just, the lines are just amazing. I love the way this looks, you know. So you got the tank shape here. Same thing with the cap and this. You know, the lines kind of curve in and then curve out in over here again. And then if you come over here, you've got the curve on the front, the curve in here, the curve out here, you know. <laughs> I'm getting, I, I spend too much time looking at these, don't I? <laughs> Anyway, it's a very good looking motorcycle. I do like these. It's got these really nifty Royal Enfield levers. They're about the second, my second favorite lever on the market right now. So they're, they've got the dog leg in them. They're thin through here, check that out. Can you see that? Right through here, they're thin. But they're wide here and they've got a very good radius, top and bottom. So they're really easy on your hands when you're using them. And they work really well with these Amal style um, grips. Let's take a look at the switch gear and the uh, instrument panel right quick. So we talked about the grips. This is the clutch. This is an information button right here. Flash to pass, low beam, high beam, turn signal, horn. Very important. Down here is a USB. It's covered so it's water protected. It's active when the bike's running. At least the one of mine is. So I think when the bike's off it's shut off. Okay over here it's the kill switch, the run switch, and then you rocker this over like that to start the bike. These are the hazard lights. Fuel, brake of course. Isn't this neat how they shape that? You know, instead of just a square chunk of something, it's right there like that. Little chrome ends and the tubes right here. Now check this out, I call this the Oculus. Isn't that neat? I love that. <laughs> it's pretty good size, a little over five inches. It's got an analog speedometer on the top. 
Then in the center, it's got this LED thing and uh, LCD, I'm sorry. And so it's uh, got a fuel gauge on the top of that, gear indicator right there, time, so always showing gear indicator, always showing clock. Then down below is the odometer that shows right now. Then using this button over here, you can do trip A and trip B, and then back to odometer. So I, I like that setup. It's got a battery light, neutral light, engine light, ABS light right there. Very good, very good. Everything you need, nothing more than you need. Excellent, excellent. I like this fairing. Look at that little black part right there. That's, that's kind of nifty, isn't it? I think that's an MK Design product. I'm not sure what brand these mirrors are, but they do look good. Very, very nice looking bike. Check that out. Just a beautiful thing. Very sporty looking. Check that whole back end out. You know, I think they do make a tail tidy for it, but I don't think you really need it. I mean, look at that whole thing. Then these are cast metal right here. Very sturdy. You don't want to run your knee into that, by golly. Absolutely gorgeous machine. It's got the loop, you know, the loop frame, the Royal Enfield loop frame. That's a very, that goes back decades. And then the little ears up here to hold the shocks. Swing arm right there, two-sided swing arm. Chain drive, of course. Absolutely gorgeous bike. Now, we can't ride this one because they sold it yesterday. <laughs> but we can ride that one. So I'm going to roll that one out and we are going to gear up and go for a ride. Life is good. Wow. The sound of thunder. 349 cc's, 20 horsepower, 20 foot pounds of torque, about 27 newton meters. Hey. Exhaust pipe alley, by gully. I can't remember the wheelbase, 53 point something inches. These things spin like a dream. These are the best handling of the, the uh, interceptors, hunter scepters, I mean. The best handling of the 350s. Also the lightest. Loads of fun to ride. <laughs> Everything's fun to ride, right? We had a big storm run through town last night, so we've got all kinds of debris all over some damage. Maybe we'll see some of that, unfortunately. Wahoo! Very good mirrors. Very stern. Yeah, very good. Okay, let's do the uh, figure eight test right here. Look how tight this can go. And the clutch has got excellent feel. Those levers are top notch. I love these levers. They got excellent, you know, they, they slide through the hand very well. They put something like this on the Interceptor this year and the uh, GT. And I think it uh, really helps a lot. It gives you more feel. I know the adjustments aren't any different, but the way the lever works in your hand is very good. Wahoo! Up over that house is Bigfoot Hill. There's a whole mess of Bigfoots up there, big family. All right, let's see what we got here. I have not been to, wow, Glim's down there. I have not been out here this morning. Welcome to fabulous South Marnie. Yeah, little tree limbs everywhere. We had, uh, like I said, quite a little microstorm blast through here, this part of Iowa. Look at this. <clears throat> this bike turns like a dream, of course. Look at all that gravel right there. Look, look at this, nice and tight, absolutely easy. One of the best handling bikes in, uh, Royal Enfield makes as far as this kind of thing goes. Look at that. Incredibly controllable clutch. I love it. 300 millimeter disc on the front with the dual piston barbary caliper. 270 on the rear with a single piston. ABS, dual channel ABS. I like this. Oh, hey, hey, the wind got one of them Bigfoots. Ha, ha, ha. Blew it sideways. I'll be. What a grin. I wonder if they know that. <clears throat> the fence came down here. Wow. You know, I didn't check my fuel. Oh, we've got plenty of fuel. What am I thinking? Let's go make some noise, huh? Let's go make some noise. Things got some good shifting. This uh, five-speed transmission is one of the best five-speeds out there. Infield really does make smooth transmissions. You know, I've got the old Himalayan, and that's pretty clunky tractor-like. These new ones are just smooth as can be. And the 650s and then these 350s are just fabulous. Look at that, right up to speed. Look at this. Brakes work well. Very light motorcycle. <laughs> look, look how tight that turns. 
I love it. I love it. You know, you wouldn't think an inch of a, you know, you wouldn't think an inch of wheelbase would make so much difference, but it does. Of course, it's got a lower center of gravity, lower ground clearance, does not have the frame underneath the engine. So the, you know, the engine is actually lower to the uh, surface, lower to the ground. All that adds up to better handling. And of course, the seating position. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. Welcome to the mighty mini troplus of Marnie, Iowa, home of Baxter Cycle, seller of new and used Royal Enfields, like the one I was sitting on. Triumphs, classic British bikes of all type, parts, thingamajigs, doodads, all that kind of stuff. Get yourself over here and check it out or go to BaxterCycle.com. Tell them Fuzzy Biker sent you. You know what we're going to do? This is a new thing I did yesterday. I started doing yesterday. We're going to do the bridge test. I don't know if we'll keep doing it, but we'll try it on this one anyway. I did this on a Riker yesterday, a three-wheeled Riker. Check this out. <laughs> I used the whole bridge on the Riker. Look at that. <laughs> this thing does it like a champ. It is. It is. Got an excellent, excellent wheelbase for that kind of thing. The best handling of the interceptors, best handling of the Royal Infields, I'm sorry. Do our hill spin test here. Check it out. We just have to look for debris on the ground. Look how well that turns. Look at that. Next time you make your way to the mighty metropolis of Marnie, Iowa, make sure you make your, make sure you, <laughs> make sure you stop here at the derailed grill right there. Try their Wahoo Burger, by golly. It's kind of got a good sound, doesn't it? The old bike does. I think that's a stock pipe. Let's peer into the looking glass over here. See what we can find today. 31.1 inch seat, I think is what I said. That's uh, 790 millimeters. I've got a 30 inch inseam. I'm five foot eight. Flat footing on both sides. I'm actually kind of standing up over the seat. Very good. Look at that bike. This is, uh, I think this is called ash gray, the color. Very nice. The mag wheels, it's all darked out, dark engine, dark seat, very dark bike looking, you know, with that uh, ash gray color. I love the lines, very good lines. <laughs> Can y'all hear that? <laughs> Let's go for a ride. Excellent pickup for this kind of stuff. Excellent pickup. Just like a little hot rod. You know, for a town bike, this is excellent. How would this do on the highway? Well, I've got a 350 Classic, and I rode mine across the state of Iowa, and back I did a 690 miles in two days, and just loved it. I think this, you know, it's the same engine, so it'll do the same thing. Then I took a Meteor, a Royal Enfield Meteor, down to Kansas. I actually touched Oklahoma. I was actually in Oklahoma. Did that in two days, so you know, a thousand miles in two days, did it very well, no troubles at all. That was a very comfortable, the Meteor is the most comfortable, it's the touring one of, of these, this is the sportiest of them. This has got the, uh, I, like I said, I call it the Hunter Scepter. And the uh, Classic is kind of in between, the Classic, the whole thing about the Classic is the looks, you know, it's a very classic looking motorcycle. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> there is Motorcycle Park down yonder, a little water there from the rain. We, uh, That'll all be full of motorcycles here shortly. We're going to have our Baxter cycles, or they're going to have their Baxter cycle days the 9th and 10th of August. And then on the uh, 24th of August, they're going to have Baxter cycle sale, the motorcycle field over yonder. That'll just be uh, the Baxter cycle auction. That'll be just full of motorcycles. This is a new road with gravel. And uh, it's kind of soft and mucky. And then we've had that big rain last night, so it's... You know, it's something to be careful about. <laughs> Very careful about. I did check my tire pressure before I left. It's an excellent little bike. It really is. It's just a blast to ride. Uh, one of my friends bought one of these and they put the big old knobbies on there. And, I, you know, it, it was a lot of fun, especially on gravel roads. I think some smaller, maybe, you know, standard size knobbies would be really good on a bike like this. It certainly uh, make it a lot of fun to ride. I want to go down here. You know, we've gone to uh, South Marnie. We've been in West Marnie. We will go over to East Marnie right quick. <laughs> and maybe a little bit of North Marnie. How's that sound? We'll do the whole town, the big old tour, you know. That building right there is absolutely stuffed with motorcycle parts. So someday we'll go do a walk through there. It's got, uh, oh, it's, it's an interesting thing. It's an interesting thing. Welcome to East Marnie. 
This is the end of it right here. Some locals over yonder. Holy cow, look at all this. Wow. No damage there. I don't see any house damage, but uh, limbs down, little ones anyway. Hey, the garage got a little bit of damage there. Son of a gun. Something here. So this is the end of East Mar. This is the end of the road here. Everything that way is uh, country, of course. This is the big house on the hill right there. We are making our way to North Marnie. <laughs> <laughs> all the way, we'll go all the way to North Marty. How's that? Right there it is. They got this new gravel everywhere out here. It's just <laughs> Oh, life is good. Look at that view. Isn't that amazing? Absolutely beautiful Iowa. Absolutely gorgeous. Check it out. Nice and tight. That's the forte of this bike is handling for sure. Handling lightweight. If you all are interested in a motorcycle like this, a newer used Royal Enfield Triumph Classic British bike of all types, need parts, accessories, sigma jigs, doodads, coats, jackets, shoes, boots, anything at all, get yourself over here to Baxter Cycle in the mighty mini tropolis of Barney, Iowa. They've got everything you could possibly need and more. It's a neat place to it's a neat place to visit. Just get yourself over here. Or go to BaxterCycle.com. Tell those fine folks that Fuzzy Biker sent you. Life is good, my friends. Let's do the exhaust by Valley one more time. <laughs> Life is good, my friends. Life is good. Get out and ride. Wahoo! Yippee-yay! Yippee-yay-yo! Down the road we go. Beautiful, beautiful machine. <laughs>